It's been very exciting seeing so many more people here than they were last year. The support, the enthusiasm, just knowing that so many people do feel passionately enough to give up their Saturday for this really gives me hope for the future. operates on so many levels. It speaks to so many different things and so many people. And being here amongst survivors is why I do it. It shows me the best of human beings. It shows me the strength that people have to recover from adversity, the strength to heal, the willingness to help, the sharing of of pain, of suffering, and yet also healing at the same time. It's bringing together all of these people who feel and love and share so openly. I think it's one of the most brilliant concepts ever to come out. It addresses the fundamental issue of rape in our society which is that victims feel silenced, they feel unheard, they feel like there is no scope for them to share what they've been through and by breaking the silence we not only create an awareness of the issues societally or in society but we also provide support as individuals for other individuals and that I think is how we change society. We change society through speaking out and changing this perception is what we're all about. Yeah, it's like one of our speakers today said, you know, the blame is not with us. The shame is not with us. And we need to start realizing that as individuals and then take it out into society. Because that's what keeps us from speaking, is that shame that is associated with being a victim. Whether you're male, female, gay, straight, whatever, you still have that underlying feeling of guilt when somebody else invades your body, which is completely ridiculous. It's just so mind-blowingly stupid that we feel silenced by our own guilt. Sons of Johannesburg Motorcycle Club has been phenomenal. Mike Lacey Smith came in 
heard about Slatwalk Johannesburg and just took it on. He is an amazing human being. He went from here to a Sunflower Foundation um, event. They do so much charity work and I am so grateful for their support. Um, they had the firefighters with them who also do incredible work and I love the way these motorcycle clubs are shifting the perception around bikers. I would also like to say thank you to the JMPD for marshalling and sending us vehicles as they have done every year since 2013. Medi Response is one of the most committed sponsors to this course, cause and Hadley Shapiro and Victor Forendijk have been extremely supportive. I am so grateful for their help over the years. They have been offering EMS to us since 2011. This is only the second year we were able to pay them. And yet they are here in their vehicles all the way around the march every single year because they support a good cause. Whenever I'm with my friends and this and that, it's more of a, like a cause of morals around friends, choosing the right friends and getting the word across with everybody, wherever you are. I feel that women are seen as less and therefore we're not treated with the... When a survivor goes out for help, they're not treated with the manner that they should be. Everyone always says, what was she wearing? Was she drunk? Was she flirting? Whatever. This basic message is Consent is a basic human right, regardless of what the person was doing, saying, thinking, and that should be addressed regardless of the person's gender. <laughs>